I'm really pale. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. That was surprisingly bitter. Here on YouTube, over the last couple of weeks, couple of months actually, there's become a massive divide between the YouTuber and, and its audience. But it becomes more of a problem when you're more popular. I don't consider myself popular at all. What have I got, 56, 57 subscribers? I love all of you, and I think that's the best part of it. The least subscribers you have, the more the YouTuber seems to care. The less of you there are, the better connection I have with you and the more I can personally talk to you. Whereas if you have a lot of subscribers and a lot of people comment on your videos, it is incredibly hard to respond to them and have a personal connection. What's happened with the internet is that people don't move on as much as they should. For example, everyone seems to think that a YouTuber is preserved in a little screen where they can't do anything but what they use there, not the user, what the what the audience want to watch. But you wouldn't expect, uh, you know, Smosh to suddenly do vlogs like this. That would never happen to our mind because we watch their content, but from their point of view, they could just go, actually, shall we vlog today? And they're within their right to do that. The audience will go, no, we watch you for your comedy sketches or whatever. That's wrong. YouTube is for a place where the content creator makes the content they want to make. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Carrie Hope Fletcher, for example, uh, sh she's famous on YouTube for kind of being a really positive attitude and never swearing or anything, and that's what she puts on to feel good. She makes videos to make you feel better, and the reason she doesn't swear in her videos is because she doesn't want to put a negative impact on you, which is a really good thing, and I wish I could do it. If she does swear in a video, which she never has, as far as I know, if she did, she would get a lot of hate comments and a lot of people saying, you promised us you would never swear and stuff. She never promised, she just said she preferred not to. I just wanted to put this out there to that, what would happen to you as a watcher if someone you watched a lot, whether it's me or whether it's someone like Carrie or Jack and Finn or Amazing Phil and Dana's Not Fire, if it's one of them, if they suddenly change what they do, would you still watch them? Because what's happened is the viewer seems to be able to control what the content creators make. And that's not right.